Jennifer was just like any other teen. She was a community theater kid. So how did she become a heroin addict? Started with uh, taking Adderall, you know, once in a while, to stay awake, to get through school. Well, now a local mom is using the death of her daughter to inspire and actually award other young women so they don't make the same deadly decisions. Karen Drew has a story of addiction, prevention, and love. Yeah, I really haven't moved anything. Um, those are all her trophies that she um, received when she performed. It feels like Jennifer Garbelin is still alive when you walk into her Garden City bedroom. I haven't changed anything. I it's funny because you look at these pictures and this looks like a happy, healthy teenager. Absolutely. Jennifer's parents, Sandy and George, aren't ready to clear out Jennifer's room, even though she died a year and a half ago. Because I know I can't keep it all forever, but... Right now, it's right now where it's, you want it to be. Absolutely. You could say Jennifer appeared to be the typical teenager. She was a community theater kid. She was a singer, and she was just a really fun, sweet girl, and people were kind of drawn to her. And I was so excited for what her future was going to hold. Little did these Garden City parents know that future was going to be cut short. Sandy recalls when she first realized there was trouble after her daughter went away to MSU. One of her very good friends called and said, Mrs. Garbavan, I, and she was crying, and I'll never forget it. And she said, I have to tell you that um, Jennifer is, she's been involved with taking heroin. Sandy confronted her daughter. Jennifer admitted to the addiction, telling her mom it all started in high school. It started with uh, taking Adderall, you know, once in a while, stay awake to get through school and how it just progressed. Then it was Xanax, and then it was Vicodin, and it was all these prescription drugs, um, which ultimately led to heroin. She was really a textbook example of, of how that happens and is happening all over our community. Sandy and George put their daughter into rehab time and time again, but once out, Jennifer would fall back into her addictive ways. Since Jennifer died a year and a half ago, I know five other kids who have overdosed from my daughter's graduating class. And it, it, it's horrifying. It's just horrifying. You know, it's just not the bad kid at the end of the block right. anymore. I just wanted to uh, take a minute to thank everyone for coming out tonight. So what does this scholarship and award ceremony have to do with Jennifer's life and death? It's really important to me that she has some kind of a legacy because she didn't get a lot of time here on Earth. But um, that doesn't mean that she can't have an impact. Sandy created an amazing woman foundation, providing educational opportunities and financial assistance for young women who are seeking experience in the arts. Singing and dancing and painting and, and expressions uh, in an artistic uh, manner are really something that I think allows girls to, to build that confidence. And with confidence and self-worth, she hopes the girls will not turn to drugs. I'm practically perfect. On this night, four local girls aged 12 to 16 are getting financial help to pursue what they love. I'm the youngest of six kids, and my parents are putting all of us through college, and this is just really helping to pay for the art. I really wanted to go to the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater Summer Intensive this year, but it was rather expensive. So when I saw this opportunity in the paper, I thought, you know, why not try? It's like a breath away from how crazy and chaotic our lives can be. It's really important. By giving them the, the scholarship, they might be, they might have an opportunity here that they might not have had otherwise. So it's just a really great feeling and I'm really happy to be able to help them. A mom giving to other girls in reaction to losing her only child, hoping and praying they don't make the same mistake Jennifer did. Sandy and George say they look back and now realize there were signs their daughter was in trouble. She stopped taking care of herself, didn't care so much about her grades. They thought she was just being a teenager, but now they realize that was when she started caring more about the drugs than anything else. I posted a link to the An Amazing Woman Foundation. If you know someone who would like to apply or donate, you can find all the information on the community page of ClickOnDetroit.com. Karen Drew. Local 4 Defenders.